Yo, 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 it's the Xbox I Ghost Kaleidoscope with some unique views and news for the YouTubers here on YouTube. Now, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? There's been some major things popping off lately, and one of those things is actually a list that's been making the rounds. Now, you know what list I'm talking about? The one that listed all the Sony for, um, Sony exclusives, all the PlayStation 4 exclusives, versus the Xbox One exclusives. Now, when I actually saw the list yesterday, I actually had a good chuckle. I mean, I literally laughed my fucking head off, yo, because of what was on this list. First of all, they had a visual novel on the list, which is basically a comic book. And then they had a whole bunch of these Japanese exclusive games that everybody knows really don't sell. I mean, most of these games don't make it past 500,000. And maybe one or two of them might actually hit 700,000. All right? And I actually looked into some of those games, and I would never put any of those games on my gaming list. But I understand why it's on there. All right? And then also, what also made me laugh even harder was Sony's first party exclusives. All right? By their first party studios. And the majority of those games won't be hitting until 2018. So what my takeaway from that list is, you know, basically Sony's first party camp is seriously lacking this year when it comes to first party output. They're getting completely owned by Microsoft. All right? Which is a trip. And if we look at the last six months, all right, from September to now, which is February, Microsoft has put out ReCore, Forza Horizon 3, Gears of War 4, Dead Rising 4, and soon about to drop Halo Wars 2. While Sony has put out The Last Guardian, Gravity Rush, which just recently dropped, and Horizon Zero Dawn, which is about to drop. All right, so by my estimate, Microsoft is completely owning Sony in the first party AAA department, all right? And it's a trip, man. It's really a trip. Now, if we go according to Greg Miller, Greg Miller always does the top 20 PlayStation game sales. Want to know what games didn't make the list? All right, these are the games that didn't make the list. The Last Guardian didn't hit the top 20 on the PlayStation 4. Tales of Bessaria didn't hit the top 20 on PlayStation 4. Gravity Rush 2 didn't make the top 20 on PlayStation 4. And even Yakuza 0 didn't make the top 20 on the PlayStation 4. Alright? Why? Because nobody is actually buying these Japanese games that all these ponies are touting. Alright? Nobody's buying them. And that's it. That's a trip. It's really a trip because it's a console that has over 60 million as an install base and nobody's buying their supposed exclusive games. What are they buying? They're buying fucking multi-plats, people. All right? That's exactly what they're buying. And for the people in the know, like myself and a lot of people from the Xbox camp, multi-plats play better on the Xbox One. Especially when it comes to online, dude. That's a fucking fact, people. And it's a shame, yo. Now, Square Enix recently said that Near Automata will be coming to the Xbox One. If it sells on the PlayStation 4 and the PC. Well, you know what? I guess we're fucked, yo. <laughs> because as we see, they really don't buy Japanese games, yo, people. And that's the reality. Either way, that's my $2 worth. But everybody else, y'all can comment, rate, share, subscribe. I'm all for it. And I'm signing off saying, and there it is. Clear as motherfucking day, yo. And I'm out. Peace, bro. And guess what, peoples? Ultimates is back. And they're completely free of charge. Word up.